Hey guys, it's Sim Queen, and this is part 10 of the Decades Challenge. Uh, so it's snowing a little bit. I'm really, really excited for the change of the seasons, just because I don't know what it's like in Chestnut Ridge in the wintertime. Um, I did have a suggestion to go back to normal lifespan just because I did get kind of ahead and things are going really well. So I decided to change it back to normal. And if I find that things are speeding too fast, then I can always slow it back down. Um, also, someone did say in the comments that you can use MC Command Center to customize lifespans. So that's also intriguing as well. Um, and I may end up doing that because there, I, I would love to see a happy medium between normal and long. So yeah, maybe that'll happen. Um, I'm not quite decided yet. So Edith is about to have herself a bath. We've got some laundry over here. And then uh, Charles is doing quite well. I was wondering um, back then would they have, because my dog's name is Charlie, but I call him Charles. And um, as he comes running over to me right now. Um, and so I'm wondering if, um, Charlie must have been a name back then, right? I, I kind of want to call him Charlie. Maybe we'll wait till he's a little bit older. But I'm, I'm guessing that um, in the 1890s, the name Charlie would have been uh, quite common. Let's go take care of Clara. Got a lot of work to do today. A lot of work. And also I was thinking maybe it's time to send our cow away for some meat. Uh, as much as I'm not really looking forward to that because it makes me a little bit sad, um, I still think that it may be time to do that. We could always do it for simoleons uh, or we could do it for the meat. Either one. Um, should we say that Edith is cheerful? Um, yeah, I guess so. We could give her a new trait. Personality discovered. I mean, I think that's great that she's in such a good mood so often. Um, Yuna is calling. Um, okay, and a lot of you guys have been saying in the comments that... Uh oh what's happening? Oh, it was her getting a new trait. Okay, the camera, like, just kind of went over to her, and I was like, uh-oh, <laughs> what's going on? Um, yeah, so uh, you guys were saying that the um ranch ranch hand is what they're, that they're called i think it's ranch hand that they are super unreliable and they'll just stop coming to work eventually so we will need to probably keep hiring them no eggs to collect the coop is clean good we're doing really well we take care of our little animals um how's this one doing ready for shearing okay let's shear for wool um also feed and clean. So the ranch hen I'm, I'm seeing <laughs> did not come today once again. So I guess we'll call again higher service, right? Is that what it's under? Call animal exchange, no higher service. Ranch hand. So it's not, yeah, you guys were saying every few days we'll have to call and reschedule them because there's a glitch and they don't come on their own anymore after a while. So it's a little annoying, but we can make it work. Okay, let's go take care of this little goat. The goats are a little bit tedious, and I it does have me wondering if it's worth it <laughs> because of how much work you kind of have to put into them. This one's really cute. Share for simoleons. Um, care and socialize because I don't want them to run away. And then... The chickens are doing good. There should be one more goat and or sheep. Is it this, the black one? Oh, that's the white one right here. There, they should all be happy. <laughs> I hope. And then we'll go over here and harvest the prairie grass. Okay, so the ranch hen did show up. Happy about that. Uh, I think I'll leave Edith alone. <laughs> I, I think I don't think she needs to necessarily do anything else. Um, okay, the garden looks like it's mostly dormant at this point. Oh, you know what? We have a baby. <laughs> How could I forget about Charles? I I honestly forgot that we had a baby. Uh, okay, well, he's perfectly fine sleeping. Um, what do we have for food? I kind of want to do some baking. Also, you guys have been saying to add ice to the fridge, and I do forget to do that. So let's add some ice. And yeah, I want to cook something. 
Like, we're, we're getting into the fall cozy vibes. She could make a cake. We could make milk bread, Yorkshire pudding, um, spooky cookie. There's actually quite a few things that we could make. A raspberry pie. That sounds kind of fun. I would just go to the bottom. Let's make an apple pie. It seems like a good time of year to do that. Uh, we did just make a pumpkin pie, but that's fine. Okay, hold on. Baby is awake and angry. <laughs> Let's just go deal with that first. Breastfeed and um, talk to. I'm really bad at taking care of the baby of the infants. I don't know why. I just I struggle. And give bath, cuddle, comfort. Yeah, comfort. I guess. Um, you don't need to worry about him. It's all good. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you for your concern. Um, laundry is ready to put away. So is our pond going to freeze over? That's kind of what I'm wondering. I honestly don't know what to expect there. Okay, he seems to be doing good. Um, I think we should be doing like the tummy time and stuff, but I... Can we do that if we just put them on the ground? <laughs> I do think we should be spending a little more time with him. We're just busy. We're always busy. Give bath, pick up. Uh, okay, so maybe we can't do tummy time until we have the mat. Is that how that works? Oh no, we can do it. Okay, never mind. I didn't want to have to buy that because it doesn't look, it doesn't fit with a decades challenge. I just think his little, um, I think it's apple, those apples. Yeah, sure, we'll call it apple. The little apple onesie is really cute. I like how they just flail and scream. <laughs> Not a frustration. Okay, so we got that. Um, we're going to hang more laundry in the clothesline. Why are you feeling embarrassed? Oh, him and Yuna had like an awkward exchange there. Poor guy doesn't, doesn't like it. <laughs> He's not loving this. We can always just leave him to... Yeah, you know what? I think we'll just leave him. He's good. He can hang out. Oh, now he's smelly, though. So maybe we should give him a bath. Okay. Um, what's happening out here? So, actions. So if we were to go... I don't want to name the cow. No, I'm not naming the cow. <laughs> we know what this cow is here for. Um, milk, feed, prairie grass. Oh, it's under actions. Trade for ingredients and produce. Or we could do it for simoleons. Or we could do it for meat. I'm going to go do it for meat. Sorry, guys. Don't look. <laughs> Don't look. We knew what was going to happen. At least it's nothing graphic. They simply walk away. <laughs> and we can get another cow later. Uh, but also, we were able to sell that one for 400 simoleons. What do we normally purchase them for is my question. 400 simoleons. Okay, so the worth of that cow never actually increased. And I'm not sure why. Um, yeah, I don't know. I'm not sure why that was the case. Let's actually have some leftover ham because I had that last night. Grab a serving of that. She's very busy. I feel like I chose the wrong time for her to make a pie. We've got other things going on. Um, and how is Charles doing? He's doing pretty good. He's just a little smelly and that's fine. Please don't worry about the baby. The game is always overriding parents because they want them to take care of the infants, but it's a little frustrating. <laughs> he seemed really excited about that. Okay, well, I'm going to have him grab some of that pie after because he was eyeing it up pretty hard. These two, if they're not the cutest couple. Okay, let's go over here and do... I was going to do more tummy time, but maybe not. So he's smelly, but I don't understand why. <laughs> His hygiene wasn't even low. Let's clean up and change diaper, I guess. I just, I simply don't know. <laughs> he's, okay, well, I guess um, he is noticing that something is smelly. So I guess he must be not very good. Let's also see what we've got in our inventory. Um, we've got some fish, some hay, eggs as well, which we can put in the fridge. Oh, we got a blue egg. 
Oh, those these ones went bad. Okay. Um, blue egg. It's not hatchable. What do we do with blue egg? I actually don't know. Oh, this is cute. I didn't realize they could like sit on the bed with them. I think you can also rock with them. Maybe. Let's just see if that's an option. Ooh, we got to parenting level six. That's really cute though. I don't know why that's so adorable, but it really is. Okay, um, let's put Charles to sleep. Yeah, a little rock that's so adorable. <laughs> it's just too cute. Uh, let's clean these up as well. I really want an indoor sink, but I don't think that that's allowed because it wouldn't have been realistic. How's our garden doing? Actually, really good. I mean, there's nothing we can really do with the garden at the moment. Um, okay. I was actually going to have these two woohoo because it might be time for baby number two, like, pretty soon. So we'll just have them casually woohoo. Um, we don't need to try for baby tech, really. I think we can just see what happens. That's how we got Charles after all, I think. And then also we have 26,000 simoleons, so... Pretty soon I would like to start expanding the house a little bit. I just, I love how small and cozy this is. I'm not really in a hurry to change it. Where are you going? Go to sleep. <laughs> I'm not really in a hurry to change it just because I think it's so homey. But, um, I mean, as we have more kids, obviously we're going to need more space for them and we'll get to that point. Um, sell this. I think we have some goat milk. This is potato nectar. I'm going to put that in the fridge. I don't know what to do with a lot of these things. Um, I actually am not a fan of how much nectar you can collect by harvesting prairie grass. It's also really unrealistic how much it's worth. Like if you were just get a few bottles and they were valued at like 12 simoleons, it's one thing, but some of them are thousands of simoleons and it just doesn't seem right. Okay, let's get up and feed Charles and soothe to sleep. Okay, well, I <laughs> paused the game for a minute, or I thought I did, but um, looks like maybe not. Also, her bladder is like depreciating, or depreciating, de decreasing <laughs> really quickly. Kind of makes me wonder what's going on there. Let's go soothe Charles to sleep. Yeah, I stopped recording for a minute and thought I paused it, but I didn't. When I came back, she's in the bathtub. Okay, you can go to sleep. I think that... Thomas should probably wake up and go take a bath. He's feeling smelly. I think the only way, I think we're going to have to have two outhouses at some point. I am like constantly stressed about how, um, if we have like a family of eight, how we're going to have them all use the washroom. Um, four days till Charles ages up. So yeah, that's my concern. Uh, but I think we could just maybe build two of them. And Charles, I'm going to have him go grab some leftovers for breakfast. Edith is still asleep. Check out Thrift Tea. No, thank you. <laughs> I think we should spend a little bit more time with baby Charles today. I feel, I kind of think that she's been spending a lot of time out on the ranch. But we have Yuna. Like, she's out there right now doing her thing. So that's good. We also got a bit of a late start today. Um, I think when we renovate, one of the things we should spend a little extra money on is our um, our bed. It's not very good. Okay, let's quickly get some laundry done because it's bad. <laughs> Using the cloth diapers does affect that quite a bit. Okay, we're going to go grab some leftovers. Uh, baby Charles is good for now. You're eating some pancakes. Delish. Oh no, the pie went bad. <laughs> I forgot to put it in the fridge. Oh wait, no, it didn't. It's good. 10 hours. It's good for now. Something went bad though. Oh, the pancakes. Okay, well that's not ideal. Uh, let's go deal with... Uh, Clara is always like his first priority. Go take care of her. Clean the coop. Collect the eggs. All the usual things. Then we'll go and um, change diaper. Oh, what's happening? What's he doing? 
I'm scared. I don't know what that means. Is that good or bad? I think it means like a new milestone. Yeah, laugh milestone unlocked. Okay, I just assumed something bad was happening. It seemed likely. Hey, why did we not? We're supposed to clean Clara and you didn't. Get back to it. She's dirty and unhappy. I don't want that. She deserves better. <laughs> Scatter some chicken feed. Um, clean the sheds. Seriously, where is Yuna? I feel like nothing is getting done around here. I saw her out here, but she wasn't, like, actively doing anything. She's working in the garden right now, so I guess that's helpful. Maybe we could do some more tummy time with him. Also, we could get the high chair and feed him baby food. Can you make your own baby food? Because I, I guess she would have to in order to feed him anything. <laughs> okay, we'll do... Um, why is tummy time only sometimes an option? Oh, are you sick? That was weird. I didn't love that. She was like... I don't know. <laughs> Like, getting, like, hot flashes. <laughs> Clean this. I'm, I think I'm deciding that the goats are too much work, unfortunately. I don't know. I'm kind of undecided on that. Harvest this. Um, I can kind of feel the roles changing a little bit as, as time goes on. Like, it seems like Edith is needed more indoors. And she doesn't really spend as much time outside as she used to. Tummy time. Um, somebody also said we could have, there's a, like a new event that came with the horse ranch pack. So we could always have one of those events. We don't really know those that many people, but it'd be fun to like have a bit of a social life. This baby is very grumpy. <laughs> he doesn't like putting an effort into anything. Um, it, let's, I don't know, put him to bed, I guess. Putting in an effort. Okay, uh, why is everybody, there's like an illness going around. I don't love that for us. <laughs> I don't know what that means. Laundry is good. We can put that away. This would normally be a job for Edith, the laundry, but she's a little tied up at the moment. Oh, interesting. Um, that's an outfit. Leela Isles. Um, also, both of these things are broken, which is definitely irritating, but it doesn't seem to be affecting us that much. I'm going to still repair them. Uh, should we get, maybe should we should get a um, high chair and just see if we can feed him anything um, cause yeah, when you're living, it's not off the grid. What is that called? I can't quite remember. Um, our lot trait. Cottage, no. I was gonna say cottage living. <laughs> um, simple living. That's what that one's called. So with simple living, I'm not sure how that would affect, um, like feeding toddlers and babies. But I guess we're gonna find out. I don't think he can be... Oh, you do have an illness. What's going on? Oh, that's not pretty. <laughs> that's not good. Oh, they both have something going on. That makes me a little nervous. <laughs> Back then, you could have died from so many things. They're both feeling feverish. Maybe... Like, could we? Do we go somewhere and, like, get some supplies so they feel better? Like, some... Um medicine i don't know he wants to go to the doctor I'm, I'm very nervous about that let's go relax uh i think it's just like a common cold thomas is hot like super hot and not that good ready for his close-up kind of way oh yeah she's sick too okay um we're gonna go hang up some laundry we gotta power through the sickness <laughs> But also I'm wondering, like, it, it would be fun to see them go, like, get on their horse and go to town to get some medicine. But I don't actually know if that's really an option. I know you can order it on the computer. Um, let me just see if it's under, I don't think it'd be under purchase gifts because it's just medicine. Oh, there is. You can get medicine. Should we order two of those? I don't know. I'm just going to get them. 
it just seems too easy. <laughs> I don't know. I don't feel right about that. It doesn't seem realistic to just order some medicine and have it come to you. Like they should have to work for it a little bit. Uh, I'm going to have her come over here and cook something. Um, maybe like a big pot of soup. That's what I'm feeling. She's level nine cooking, but we're getting low on ingredients. I, I think berry scones, raspberry pie, pancakes. See, I want to make like a stew or something. Um, uh, we can make ramen. I love the winter cake. Um, okay, so not seeing what I was hoping to see. Let's try serving dinner. We can also brew an herbal remedy. No, we can't. We have nothing. Okay. <laughs> I thought it would only show up if we could actually make something. Okay, serve lunch. Garlic noodles. Yeah, we don't have the ingredients. They're not the ones I wanted anyway. Did we fix these? How come he's... <sighs> Fine, I'll just replace them. <laughs> I'm just not going to bother trying to fix them because it'll just be too irritating. Um, what are we running low on? We're obviously running low on some ingredients. I just, I'm not sure what exactly. Let me go back to cook. <laughs> I just want to see what we're, what we're missing. Like how can we, she used to be able to make uh, like a camper stew and that kind of thing. And now, or like as a harvest stew, maybe. I'm spending way too much time on this. Let's just make some ramen and get it over with. We're going to make miso ramen. All right. Uh, let's have Thomas just relax for a bit. He's got to chill. I'm not sure that they should take that medicine. Like I said, I feel like they should have to work for it. So maybe we won't take it. <laughs> I don't know. She's like ta thinking like I need some medicine and we've got it, but it doesn't feel right. Uh, it feels a little too easy. Okay, what is going on here? Why can I not take care of Clara? Oh, there we go. Yuna got it. Never mind. <laughs> I've been complaining so much about her. <laughs> the Finchwick Fair has started. Oh, I really wanted to go to that. <laughs> I really did. There's a pie competition and everything. Oh, we can't miss the next one. I mean, we could always go with a late entry. But she's not feeling very well. I don't know. I would love to see her win a prize at the Finchwick Fair. How long does it go on for? That's what I should have looked into. Uh, it goes on till 9.30 p.m. So, you know what? We could have our bowl of soup and make a pie and head over there. I just feel bad because she's so ill. This man refuses to relax. I keep trying to get him to lay down. Oh, wow, that was incredibly rude. She just made that for herself. <laughs> I thought we were making like a whole pot of soup. That's fine. Thomas is like, yeah, whatever. I'm going to have some ham and that'll be that. Okay, let's say we wanted to make a pie. And I think either way, it would be kind of nice to go to um, Hemford on Bagley. So maybe we'll do that either way. And we're going to make the apple pie. Um, which we technically already did. We did that yesterday, but we ate part of it, so that won't that won't do for an entry. And we'll have to feed Charles before we go. The problem is we can't both go because, like, were babysitters a thing back then? I don't know. Oh, wait, someone said you can travel with an infant. Hold on, let me try to find that comment because I know someone said that. Um... Because I, I remember I had asked in the in the previous episode if you could travel with an infant. And someone did respond to that. Let me just see what they said. Um, okay. Just trying to find this comment. You could... Oh. Oh, someone said you could consider making neighbor... Uh, some pies for your neighbors to befriend them. Which is a good idea. I definitely... I do want to do that. The problem is, like, they're not really our neighbors. They live in different neighborhoods. But that's okay. I swear, somebody said, oh, you can travel with infants. There's even a milestone for the first trip to the park. Oh, how cute. Okay. It sounds like we can do that then. Okay, clean these up. Okay, so we'll bring him with us. I really wish we had strollers like we did in uh, The Sims 3. That was really a cute little detail. So I, I do wish we had that. 
perfect. Let's put this in our inventory. Go feed baby Charles and quickly head over there because we only have a few hours before it's over. Um, why is breastfeed not an option? There we go. Hurry, hurry. <laughs> go quickly. Okay, wait for him to be fed and then we're going to travel. Oh, okay. See, it was there the whole time. I don't know what's wrong with me. Okay, let's head over to Henford on Bagley. Cute. So you can you can bring the. I'm glad that I learned that. I mean, I, I never really tried. I probably should have put in a little bit more effort, but <laughs> good to know that that can be done. Uh, we want to submit. Oh, that's not. That's for Orbis Crow. This is what we want. Submit an entry. Uh, we didn't actually. If we had a crop to harvest, then I would have submitted something for that as well. But we did not. Oh, wait, hold on. You can put him down. He's going to be fine. <laughs> Just lay on the grass. Apple pie, vegetarian and lactose free. Okay, how's Charles doing? He's he's pretty good. He's solid. Uh, we need to... I love that people are submitting like their lettuce and their pumpkin. That's really cute. Uh, these are actually closed. That's too bad. They closed half an hour ago. Or an hour ago, I guess. Likes affection. Sure. Oh, that's disappointing. That was half the reason I came here. <laughs> I wanted to shop. This is cute. Their first little, like, family outing. Share baby pictures. These two. They're just so cute. Uh, share outdoorsy tips. Hold hands. Compliment her entry. That's really cute. <laughs> Actually, we should probably get a photo of these three. Uh, that's, like, not the best. <laughs> I wish that I could get them to pose. I think there actually is something you can do. You can get a, a, a mod for that. Let's check out the entries. So we've got a meat pie. Oh, my God. Look at how cute. <laughs> just, I just about lose my mind over these three. <laughs> They're so cute. I love their first little outing. Okay, that actually is a cute photo. I got like four different angles there, so we're good. They're so adorable. I just love this family. Okay, when are you going to tell me that I won the prize for the pie? Also, this one looks pretty good, I won't lie. Shepherd's pie. It's only normal quality, though. Um, and this meat pie is also normal. Ours is excellent, so we should definitely win. Help with needs? Sure, help with needs. Play peekaboo. Bring inside. Oh, sh no, we don't bottle feed. <laughs> we can't. It's not a thing. Please hurry up and tell me that I won. Okay, well, let's just... I guess we'll just hang out here. It says it's over at 9.30. You'd think that they would have done this by now. Oh, this happened last time where... Um, nobody ever came to give us a prize or anything, and it just, oh, there we go, ends in an hour. See, it's, it's, it was supposed to end at 9.30. She's not feeling well. Okay, let's just wait a little bit longer. This baby needs his diaper changed, and it's gonna be on you, Thomas. You're gonna have to do it. Or something. He was smelly. She went to sleep on a park bench. She's like, you know what? Bring me my prize when it's over. She can't she can't stay awake any longer. <laughs> These guys are all just dancing. Oh, well, that's disappointing. Oh. Finchwick Fair Reward. One sugar, one participation pie, and a competition ribbon. Um, Edith has unlocked the recipe for chocolatey treats. Um, the pie you entered just didn't cut it this time. Excuse me, it was better than the rest. <laughs> Please accept this participation award for trying. Check your Sims and household inventory. Um, well, I... Okay, I think it's a little rigged, but whatever. I'm going to leave this episode here. I mean, at least we got our ribbon. That's exciting. And we got some sugar valued at 10 simoleons and a 25 simoleon um, ribbon. So we'll take it. We'll try again next time. <laughs> if you guys enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up, comment down below, and I will see you guys in the next video. Thanks for watching.